Hello everyone, welcome back to another brand new Roblox tutorial here. This Roblox tutorial we're going to be doing is we're going to be sh I'm going to be showing you how to make an intermission bar. Now, we did a video of how to make an intermission bar count t counter time, you know, like the t the count the number start to count down and you start to teleport an intermission countdown. For now today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make an intermission bar. Really easy, really simple, and yeah, here we go, guys. So first off, you want to do is what you want to go to replicate a storage, and search up a string value. There we go. We got a string value here, and we're going to name this value status status. I don't know how to say it, but status status whatever you want to say status. I'm just going to say status. So once you got once when you name it status. Uh, you're going to go to start a GUI, you're going to click screen GUI, and uh, we're, you're going to click this plus sign, and you're going to click text label. Once you got that, you get to, you could like, you know, mess around with a bit, you know, I'm just going to make my own, uh, you know, a little old intermission bar. So I'm just going to put mine right here, and I'm going to make text scale. Um, I'm going to make text stroke parent t to like zero. There we go. And I'm just going to make source sans bold. Oh, you know what? No, 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 no. Change it to one. Yeah, that looks, that looks good. All right. So now we got our intermission bar right here. Now we're going to add a local script. Oh. There we go. Now, we got our local script here, and now you guys can copy uh, whatever you want. I mean, like, you guys could copy me if you want. So, first, we're going to put local sta status, status, I don't know, okay, dot, replicate a storage, wait, for child, status, 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 script, the parent the text equals status value status dot changed connect function script parent dot text equals status oh almost click uh script value status dot value there we go so now uh oh so now uh if we go ahead and if we test this game out as you guys can see uh, the text in the intermission bar, it's gone, all right? It's completely gone. You know, it vanished. There we go. But if we go to replicate a storage, and if we click status, 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 and if we go, so we go to value, and let's say, uh, hello. There we go, guys. As you guys can see, we have hello in our status intermission bar, and uh, because in the value, if you change something in the value box let's say hi there you go if you change something in the value box the it's going to be in the intermission bar there we go so now we got the local script done in the intermission bar now what we're going to be doing is we're going to go to workspace you're going to click the plus sign and we're going to be adding a script this is going to be a short script so we're going to do local state status equals game dot replicate storage wait Five seconds status 
So now, um, here we go. If we join the game, we're going to say like, uh, let's say uh, waiting. Uh, let's say be sure to like the game. Let's say something like that. And we're going to change uh, this to, um, let's say, um, hmm, waiting for players. Let's say something like that. All right. So now, if we go ahead and if we play, whoops, it looks like something went wrong here. Uh, let's see the script. Hmm, replicate it. Oh, oh no, replicate it first. It's supposed to be replicate a storage. Well, I done goofed. Here we go, storage. Now, let's see if it's work. If it doesn't work, then I may need to repeat this again. There we go, guys, it worked. Be sure to like the game, wait five seconds, waiting for players. There you go, guys, that's how you make an intermission bar, all right? So that's going to be end in this video. It's just a little quick tutorial of how to make an intermission bar. You could just say, um, if you want to repeat more, do this, copy this, copy, and and we're just going to do enter V, copy V, V. Now we're just going to say, uh, uh, like, uh, be sure to subscribe. There we go. So now we have added more text in there. So now if we go to the game, the intermission bar should now be saying more stuff. Be sure to like the game, five seconds later, waited for players, five seconds later, it just says be sure to subscribe. There we go guys. And now five seconds later, it should say, you know, like, and like the video, five seconds later, it should say like round starting. There we go guys. Bam. Now, that's going to be it for this video. Now, that's just, it's just a quick tutorial, you know, make an intermission bar, an easy how to make intermission bar. So, I hope you do enjoy this video. I really hope this helps you a lot for making your new future game. And I'll be seeing you guys next time in my next video. Bye.